Hello, this is Dan with Green Power Science. We have some hard drive platters set up and they're spaced out with some neutral plates between them. We're gonna be powering this today with a six watt solar panel. Now this solar panel has a very low amp output, but it does actually get pretty good results. The solution that we're gonna be using is water and baking soda today. And we're also gonna to try to create some hydrogen with, some, uh, with a hand powered generator. So we're gonna see what happens. It's amazing, even though this solar panel is only 6 watts, it still does a pretty good job. While the sun's hiding behind a cloud, I'm going to show you something real quick. This is a new hard drive platter. This is one that's just been dunked like for a minute or two. And uh, over here, these are hard drive platters that I left in for about an hour yesterday. And as you can see, the surface actually got destroyed on them. So they don't really work well for this process. The, uh, the platinum, well, the little traces of platinum that's on there start to flake off and the other metals with it and it exposes the aluminum. So while these would be nice if they would work, they, they really don't hold up well at all. Okay, I've got one of these hooked up to it from one of the drills and I've got this set up here which is two platters and what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can actually get the process going with by hand turning that so we can get some bubbles to come off of this. You can see, I don't, you probably won't be able to see but that sound is me turning this so. Hand powered HHO. Not very easy to do. All right, this cloud looks like it's about to clear, so I'm gonna put the solar panel back on it. Okay, this reaction is totally from the sun. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse this on the, uh, I'm gonna switch the uh, cathode and anode around by just switching it on the solar panel. So now they're switched around and the bubbles should change directions. I'm gonna try and show you that cloud that we've been fighting all day. Big ugly cloud. All right, the solar panel's been hooked up for about 10 minutes. The sun's been nice and strong, and this is what it's done. It's made a nice, uh, nice mess actually, but give you an idea. Now I'm going to pull one of these uh, platters out and show you what it does to them. So you'll see why they don't make a good choice for this. You can see that the part of the platter that was not submerged is still about the same and the sun's actually going to help us out 
the clouds are actually going to help us out for a change and you can see the part of the platter that was submerged is starting to uh, look like those other platters so this one was hooked up to the other terminal so it got less damage but it's still nonetheless from the short time that it was hooked up this is very smooth to the touch and this is rough and pitted well i hope that helped you guys enjoy our videos